Hey everyone, Silly Cat 2 here. Welcome back for more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we came all the way here to the Undersquare because we are searching for info about the cure to this ice virus. And we get a really warm welcome from these supposedly evil navvies. I don't know, sometimes Capcom's writing is really good, other times it just makes me laugh. <laughs> Back to regular net unless you want to die. Not a chance. It's like there is a power-up available here, but I have nowhere near enough money to get it. So, it looks like we're going to be doing some grinding. Yay, grinding. It's the last thing I wanted to do in this LP. Alright, so, uh, I'll be back once I have enough money for the stuff I want. Okay, I'm back. The mystery data here in the internet tend to be viruses a lot, so... Sometimes they have a lot of zennies in them, but other times your luck may not turn out so great. This is one of those times. Anyway, let's pay a thousand zennies for the info. Navi that knows the keyword is in net square, so I've heard it's a purple Navi and it's pretty greedy. Okay. Good thing we're already in Natopia. Let's go check out that purple Navi. I'm just gonna meet you guys there. Oh, hey, there's a purple mystery data here. Let's check it out. This is on the way from uh, Ms. Millian's homepage to Natopia Square. Let's see what's in here. What am I doing? I'm getting distracted. That's what I'm doing. Cannonball! That is a breaking chip that works surprisingly pretty well. Uh. I don't know, I think it has like 150 attack power. <coughs> you know what, let's just take a look now. Yes, 150, and it can break the third square head, and it's in the asterisk code. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. What are we supposed to be doing here? H code, that doesn't really help us much. Let's see, what well, mystery data is the third one. And it's blocked by ice, so there's no point really going there at all. us straight to net square. This takes us straight out of net square. Why do they do that? Alright, let's look for that purple map now. Uh, this one? Nope. Not that one. It's not that one. That one's running a shop. Here he is. Ah. That's not the one either. Where is he? Oh, 
Wait, is he outside? Nope. Actually, wait. No, you don't have an unlocker. Alright, actually, I know exactly where he went. He went to Natopia Chu, and he's talking to the dealer there. That's the one. But if you want to talk to him, I believe you need a certain chip, and that chip would be Zapring 2B. You can get one by S-ranking a tough bunny around this area, so... Yeah, I don't know what I was going to conclude there. Ah. Ah. Die. The keyword is... The keyword is... The keyword is... Is World 3. Free surprise. It's the same as the name of the criminal organization. That's all I know. Hope it helps. Alright, yeah, sure. I don't know why he's asking for such a lame chip. <laughs> Maybe he's just a collector or something. I don't know. <clears throat> In any case. Yeah, speaking of collecting, I think I've decided that this is not going to be a 100% run. I'm just going to play through the game, maybe up, maybe do the bonus area, and that'll be it. Because, well, it's just not really worth it to go to all this trouble. Maybe later on I'll do, come back and do like a bonus episode or something where I show off the content past true base, but... Well, at this point, I just don't know. That was pretty stupid of me. Alright, anyway, back to the undernet. Guess what we got, guys? Wood shield style. Lame. Alright, yeah. This game is different from Battle Network 3 in that you can have up to two styles stored in addition to normal style. I am going to be sticking with Heat Shield because, well... I'm not gonna say it because it'll so come out wrong. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Great, now I've got myself cracking up over that. Anyway. <clears throat> Put some keywords. But before we do that, this is the Undernet Info Board. You got a problem with that? Post Undernet Info. Here's Undernet Rumor number one. A high tech navy called the dock hides in the other square. Here's Undernet Rumor number two. Something odd about the bug frag collector in Kota Square. Ah, that dude. I always thought he was hiding something strange. Bug frags in a collection will turn, to, turn into real bugs. I think he's playing some nasty surprise, but I was still happy to get my hands on an air shoes. You idiot, trading for an air shoes instead of a Zeus hammer? I gotta recover 80. Here's Undernet Rumor number three. The square's proto man is bad news. I mean, he's tough. That red guy? His attacks just don't quit. 
looks for an opening and zooms in and slice! Wow, I can't believe you fought Proto Man and lived. Impressive. Heh, <laughs> you know it. I use an escape. Here's under deck rumor number four. Deleted navvies roam the net as ghosts and attack other navvies. You can get to the under deck from a place in Den Area 1. There's a secret passageway. <laughs> Guess everyone already knew that. This is a secret board. No ordinary people allowed. In order to get any sort of info from the secret board, you have to beat the game. I'll be showing that later on. I mean, even if this isn't like a 100% run, I still want to show the bonus stuff. <clears throat> what a cute customer we got here. What's wrong today? Does your tummy ache? Oh, oh. What? A cure? What now we like you do? Who is it? Flame Doctor? What? Break that ice? Oh, sounds fun. But since you've reached me, you must be kind of tough. Alright, you can have a cure, but I want all the power ups and battle chips you've got to be put in exchange. Deal? Yeah, sure thing. You're brave. I like you. I'll make your cure. But first, here, take this back with interest. Anti recovery D. Actually, I was looking into that ice myself. To make the cure yellow cure, it can break yellow ice. You need a yellow frag and a heat data. That's all I know. Got myself the yellow frag here. If I had a heat data, I can make you a yellow cure. So, do you got heat data? It's in some flame making program. Go get it for me. All right. But first. Nah, I'll save up for the power-up. Okay, it turns out, in order to get the heat data... Undershirt is not a very good chip, so... I would only recommend making this trade if you really want to get 100% on this game. Undershirt comes in handy in Battle Network 3 and everything past that, otherwise you really shouldn't use it. Anyway, in order to get heat data, you jack in here, into the barbecue, the grill, whatever. Whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Gumland, huh? Well, I would guess that in order to get the heat data from that guy, we need to help him with his little problems, so... Off to Yumland we go! Uh, and I just remembered the path that's blocked. Oh well. Actually, you know what? Hang on a sec. Yes, here we go. Wind asterisk, fan asterisk, and Gateman G combined to form the single most powerful program advance in this game. And definitely the one that makes breaks it the most. Gator. This to show you how powerful it is. Each of those projectiles does 100 damage, and as you've seen, they home in on enemies. So, yeah. 900 completely unavoidable damage. Unless you happen to be invisible or like a shadow at the time. Yeah, consider the game officially broken. <laughs> <clears throat> Just get what's in here and I'll see you guys in Yumland. Okay, welcome back to Yumland. Now, uh, there's the red cure. There's a red ice here, excuse me. Some fishy threes. Um, yeah, I guess it'll be worth it to use Guts shoot on one of them. Again, fishy threes are. Uh, fishies are incredibly weak to the flamethrower just because of how it works. Get them to charge into you while you're using it, and bam, dead. Unless they have more HP than what you can do with your flamethrower, but... Well, I can't really help that, now can I? <laughs> Blah! That was stupid. 
boy. Now, oh, excuse me while I proceed to get lost. An area we've been through like 50 times. Let's look behind any red ice or something. Actually, wait, we already went through. Aha! He wants to be back there. Oh. Let's go talk to him. Break this ice again. <clears throat> that was incredibly stupid. Like, seriously, I like totally missed. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Can I make it? I was gonna skip my work and pool around here. Thank you so oh, much for rescuing me. My job's making fires, but the heat day I use is working a little too well. I need to cool off like this once in a while. I can't continue working, it just gets too high. I should contact my coworkers, they must be worried. Now we've done that. Are you Mega Man? I heard you saved my coworker. He's a slacker, but he's my friend. This won't be enough to show my gratitude, but please take it. We got our heat data. So in the next episode, we're gonna be Whoa! Another earthquake? Natural disasters around the world are on the rise. Air maiden quakes are occurring in Electopia, and an evacuation advisory has been issued. The disasters may worsen. No time for wasting, let's go! What?! That has to be some of the most broken grammar I've ever seen. Other than, you know, all your base are belong to us. You are on the way to destruction. <laughs> anyway, uh, in the next episode, we're going to be heading back to <clears throat> the Undersquare. And we'll get a chance to talk to Doc. So, yeah. Silly Cat 2 out.